We are not fans of moralizing lectures and cute phrases such as between a rock and a hard place. Now there's a point in Picture Canyon, once you get past the M cave, if you, if you make it down first drop, now this is the problem with the inexperienced people, they go down one drop, they're thinking they're in the clear, but here's the big problem, you might, the inexperienced people can find themselves literally between a rock and a hard place because now you can't get back up the first drop and now you have a second drop that's just as steep or worse and now you're stuck in no man's land with no radio, with no signal, with no communications. So now you're in a bind. So the rock and hard place going up the wrong path, climbing up the wrong path, climbing down, ascending, going up the wrong path, down the wrong path, by and large. Um, a fork in a road, a fork in a road, a rock and hard place. So now the, the, the nature of the mountains make things a lot more elegant and a lot more clear. If you're between a rock and a hard place, you are literally between a rock and a hard place. You don't have any, you don't have any fools trying to lecture you about some bullshit. And that's what's great about the mountains. And we also need to learn, people need to learn to not judge a book by its cover. Because if you look at, for example, if, you know, if you've seen beautiful Russian model, right? You think, well, what, this person is, you know, you know, beautiful Russian girl, Russian model. Doesn't have to be a Russian model, but I'm, just, I mean, I'm just saying. For example, you know, um, you meet a beautiful Russian girl, and then you think that you might think there's no way they could have ever climbed the summit of Mount Everest because they're a beautiful model, and because uh, you, people might uh, people might discriminate because they think you know that they're they're going to see a beautiful model and they're going to say how can this how can this girl climb Mount Everest? So you'll be surprised that the next time you see a beautiful Russian fashion model, she might have. She just might be the one who have summited, climbed up on Mount, the summit of Mount Everest. Now, did you climb up on the summit of Mount Everest? So next time you see a beautiful Russian model, they are probably the ones who did it and not you.